So last weekend, uh, I went to see my dad. He's not been feeling well. Uh, I got the bus from the station. Uh, there was a Sari woman and a Polish mate from the bus chatting away. Um, actually, it was mostly the Sari woman who was chatting away. You know, some people, they hear a foreign accent, they take it as an opportunity to have a one-way conversation. You know, just like that. Um, but the Polish woman, she brought up uh, squirrels. And the Sari woman was like, rats with tails. Nah, see, I always say, I, I always say this, I, I always say, pigeons are rats with wings and squirrels are rats with tails. In this country, yeah, in this country, we class them as pests because they are, they're pests. Uh, back in North London once, um, I've been complaining to my weed dealer that the local foxes have massacred our uh, chickens. Oh, yeah. um, but, uh, but he said, you can't judge them. They're urbanites, like you and me. We're just trying to survive. They're urbanites. Last time I was struggling with my family, Raj told me to look for the weeds, because they're everywhere. Between the curb and the road and the wall and the pavement, they thrive, regardless. West Surrey has inhospitable soil. That's why it's all gorse and hard leaves between the barracks and the money. But still, the weeds push through. He's not been feeling well. I made a cup of tea. Take it black now, like my granddad. Uh, it smelled the old boathouse on the canal. I've been complaining to my dad about losing the air. He said, bitch you men and cuddle a black Labrador. He's not been feeling well. Myocardial bridging. It's just one little symptom. Just one little thing. One little, one little thing that might happen. You might just drop dead. But you're dead before you hit the floor. You ain't a bad way to go. Woking is a London overspill town. And you'd be forgiven for thinking that that refers to an overspillage of living people. But Brookwood Cemetery, which is huge, was established in 1932 to soak up an overspillage of Londoners dead from cholera. It's very pretty, unspoiled by the headstones they can afford. The local economy is deaf. My great granddad came over from Mayo to join the British Army. Dad and, uh, Dad and Grandad both be panels of British aerospace. The Brixton nail bomber went to my school and my childhood sounded like Trevi! He's not been feeling well. During the Ola break outbreak, He said that they should napalm the entirety of West Africa. Popped out my mum's fanny. They took one look at me and they wrote girl on the birth certificate. No doubts. No doubts. But 23 years later, when I came home for the first time looking like this and we took our tops off for haircuts, my dad took one look at me and he went, You came out like that. It's not 
must be feeling well. Last Christmas is the time you finally vote Tory. It's meant to be a socialist like my granddad. I called him an arse licker and I meant to hurt him. I used to freeze when he said shit like that. When I first found my voice, it shouted and then it strategized and my anger spake his anger, but I never told him about the pain. Because the pain has to ask. Do you love all of me? But he's not been feeling well. And when I called him an arse licker, he demanded an apology and kiss. I don't want him to die a racist. So I, I decided to, um, you know, I decided, I decided to, I decided to, I decided, I decided, I, deci I, deci I decided to stop talking to the racist and start talking to him. So I said, it hurts me in my soul when you say shit like that. Because you're talking about everybody I love. And I am everybody I love. And everybody I love is me. And you haven't met my family because I've protected them from you. Will you come for my birthday and meet us? He said, could do. I said, could do. He said, well, I might be feeling better by then. Oh, in what? So you think I'm going to say, fuck off, Dad, I don't care anymore because you're feeling better? He went, that's one way of putting it. Hatred is not a 